What's up guys, my name is Brandon and now that the public beta of iOS 15 has been released, I know a lot of you guys will start installing this new software on your device and you might be wondering how to take advantage of some of the best new features that iOS 15 has to offer, more specifically the FaceTime features. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys how to use SharePlay, which is the feature that allows you to watch movies and listen to music with friends. Along with that, we'll also be showing you how to share your screen via FaceTime in case you ever need to help your mom, your dad, or your grandparents figure out how to do something on their phone. We've all been there. All right, so first things first, to take advantage of either one of these two new features, both devices do need to be on iOS 15. So if you're planning on sharing your screen or having watch parties, make sure that your friend, your family member, your significant other, whoever else is using this with you is on iOS 15 or iPad OS 15 as well. So screen sharing in iOS 15 is very simple and very effective. All you need to do once you're on a FaceTime call is press this button right underneath of the end button on the menu bar right here. So once you tap that, you will see share my screen. Go ahead and tap on that and you will see it does a little countdown right there and then your screen appears on the other person's phone. Now your screen will be blurred out at first because you are on the FaceTime call, but once you go back to the home screen on the other person's phone, you will see that you could see your screen right there. You could also move it around like this. So this is for the person on the receiving end. So if you're sharing your screen, this is what the other person is going to see. They can move this around like this. You can also double tap to make it a little bit bigger. Now, as for you, the person who is screen recording your own screen, you're going to be able to operate on your screen as normal. You will see this little purple icon up in the top left. So around the time it will turn purple. That indicates that you are still screen recording. So you can go into the applications and just do your normal thing and, you know, show your grandma how to get to the app store settings, for example, right here. And on the other end, she will see exactly what you're doing as you navigate throughout iOS on your phone. Now keep in mind that your face will be showing at the same time if you have it selected. So I had mine deselected, but you can see there when I selected the other person can see my face camera and also my screen at the same time. But you can of course turn off your video camera right there if you want to. Now on the receiving end, if you are the one being screen shared with, you also have the option to put this in full screen. So all you need to do is go ahead and tap to the menu bar right here and you will see you get this little prompt right here that says join screen sharing and when you tap on open you can see here we have share play let's just go ahead and do not now but you can see that the screen now shows up in full screen so it takes up our entire screen when we move on the other phone you can see it moves on here there is some lag some stutter right there so you do need to go a little bit slow if you are dealing with a slow connection but you will notice that from time to time as well if you are on the receiving end now also if you want to stop screen sharing all you have to do is simply tap and the status bar right here, and then tap the same icon that you started with, and you can see screen sharing just turns off like so. So screen sharing is pretty cool and definitely very useful, but iOS 15 also includes a very awesome feature called SharePlay. So this is going to allow you to have watch parties or album listening parties, and it basically plays the same media across both devices or multiple devices so that you can react together. So to do this, the first thing you guys want to do is go into your settings right here and then you want to go down to FaceTime. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way right here. So let's go to FaceTime and then right below our contact information, you can see we have a section called SharePlay. Go ahead and tap on that. And then you can see you have a kill switch for SharePlay right there. And then also these two right here, which after you go into music and TV for the first time, these will appear in settings to SharePlay automatically. You can turn that on or off from the section inside of settings. And now while you're on a FaceTime call, just simply start playing a movie, a TV show or music, and you will see the magic happen. So I'm gonna start with the Apple TV application. So I'm gonna go into Apple TV right here, and you can see up top it shows that it will automatically play because I did have that selected. So, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this like it's the first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and find a show right here. So let's go ahead and tap on this show right here. We're gonna tap on it once again, and you can see it has started. And on the other person's phone right here, you can see it will ask us to join in. So you can see right there on the receiving end, it says join share play. And if we go ahead and tap on open, just like so, you can see it says share play physical. You can select to share play or not now. So if I go ahead and tap on share play, you can see it will pull up the movie or TV show going on at the exact same time. So both will be in sync 
and you can see it's going on right now. And what's really cool about this is not only can you play and pause from one device and it you know affects all the others, so you can see who resumed and who paused it up top. So if I pause this, it will show exactly who in the FaceTime call paused or you know play it again or if you want to fast forward or just go to a different scene it will always show up top who did that and of course it plays and pauses you know in sync with everything else so that's cool but what's really cool is that apple has also thought about the times when you want to talk during a scene and that's where smart volume comes in so this is going to automatically adjust the audio so you can hear your friends even during a loud scene or you know a very actiony scene you're going to be able to hear your friends and the tv show or movie at the same time which is really neat so that's how it works with a tv show or movie inside of the tv application now you can also do it inside of music as well so if you wanted to listen to an album together for the first time so say you know it's a friday and new music just came out and you wanted to listen to let's just say surfaces new album together and you wanted to react to all the new songs you can do that so if i just go ahead and tap on shuffle you could see that it will start share playing automatically. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see it shows it started playing the album right there. And then also on the receiving end, you could see that I got the prompt to do that. So if I tap on the status bar, I can join in on share play by doing this and tap on share play. And now all of a sudden I'm listening to the same music at the same time. And you can see down here, it even shows that two people are currently listening to this song. And of course it's the same as like with the TV application, you could pause and it pauses on all devices. You could also go into the queue and switch around the queue and it switches for everybody. So if I move around the queue, you can see right there, it's moving around and it also shows up top who moved the songs in the queue. And just like with the TV shows, you also have the smart volume feature with music as well. So the music and you know other people talking will be leveled and it will not be overpowering. Like the other person or the music will not be overpowering. They will be leveled so you can hear both at the same time. It's really cool technology and it actually works very, very well. So there you have it guys. That is how you can easily screen share and share play in iOS 15. Just make sure that the person you're share playing with is also on iOS iOS 15, iPadOS 15, tvOS 15, or macOS Monterey. It does work across all devices as long as you are updated. And SharePlay is just easily one of my favorite features in iOS 15. And I hope you guys enjoy this feature just as much as I do. Of course, the screen sharing is cool as well, but SharePlay personally is my favorite. And I also love how it always shows the song that's being played right up there as well, just for quick reference. So you do also have this button right here as well. If you wanted to stop share playing, I didn't even show that before, but if you tap on that, you can stop share playing if you want to. But anyways, guys, there you have it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, and if you learned something, I would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you guys subscribe for a lot more iOS 15 features, tips, tricks, lots of goodies coming to the channel very, very soon. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.